Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Ace Games TV. My name is Mioni, and today I'm looking at a game that is currently in closed beta that I paid to access, which cost me around £8. You can go and do it right now as well. This game is quite transaction fueled, um, but will be free to play upon launch. But you can go and pay to access the beta now. What is this game? Well, this is the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. That's right, what an amazing title, and you know. Being a Warcraft player, I'd be interested in this. So what exactly is the Mighty Quest? Well, essentially it's like a dungeon defender crossed between a Diablo clone, but so, so much better. It's very lightweight on requirements and can be run pretty much on Ultra on uh, pretty much any computer. It looks really visually inspiring and indeed has some really quirky moments. Now, I'm obviously past the training area. What I'm going to be showing you in this video is what you can actually do in the game. So first we're going to show you the defend section. So this is my basic castle, the castle I start with, and there's all my dudes down there. So obviously the idea is to build a castle that people will find impregnable. impregnable. So essentially you're building something that someone else will run like Diablo, like a dungeon. And the idea of it is to get to the very end to get your loot. So this is the start of the dungeon, your castle. The moat opens, you come inside. As you can see there are three cyclops here which I can place. Now there is a limitation of how many mobs I can put together, otherwise it would be extremely overpowered. Now those are based on defense values. But you can also give them special abilities, which I'll show you in a moment as well. So as you can see, there's a pack there connected, then there's a pack connected there, then there's a pack connected there. But roughly, they're of about the same sort of difficulty. Um, only the big guys, the Cyclops here, have been given the ability to charge. So this is a very, base, uh, a very, very, very basic um, dungeon. And as you can see there, each section... And that's my throne room over there. If they kill all of the mobs within the time limit and get to there, they will get to plunder some of my loot. So life forces like crystals, which are used to build things. And indeed gold is also used to build things, but also mainly to buy upgrades and other ailments for your character. So what exactly is the next day? Oh, and this is the dungeon heart, the castle heart rather. And this allows you to basically... Uh, build bigger castles, harder to defeat castles. So this castle is only rank 2, believe it or not. So it's quite an easy castle. Um, as you can see here, I've got gold and life mines here. These periodically give you gold and life crystals. This is a way of basically not having to purchase them through the store. However, it is slower um, than actually going and purchasing with real money. But who wants to do that? This is supposed to be a casual game. So as you can see over there, I was a worker's cabin, that's how many workers I have. This is a hero trainer. You go up here to level up your character when your XP bar is full, it doesn't automatically level up. You actually come in here and spend some of your gold to level up. As you can see, I'm a level 6 character and I'm only halfway through my experience, so it's not going to let me level up here. Um, you can also buy access to the other healers. When you start the game, you have access to two of them, but you have to pay for the third. You get the knight, the archer, and indeed access to the sorcerer if you want to buy it. I don't really think that's something I wanted to show off, so I didn't spend any more money on the game. This is the architect's office, so as you can see, I can build those two mines, um, and indeed you can build rooms to add on to your dungeon once your heart is big enough to accommodate it. Currently I'm not able to build any rooms on here, but I can show you this is how they would fit on. So obviously you can make your dungeon a lot longer, fill it with more mobs, because you can have more mobs if there's more rooms, that sort of thing. So the possibilities are quite fun, as you can imagine, because this is being built for people to actively come in and do like a Diablo dungeon, which is awesome. So we're going to upgrade the architect's office here so we can actually and build new rooms and things. Now as you can see here over the finish now button there is a way of using these blings as they're called which are in-game currency items which you can buy for real money to speed up um, basically the process of building. There aren't many pay, pay to win options but you can pretty much buy anything you want with the life force stuff and indeed the blings if you're running out of that stuff. So 
I don't know, it gives you quite an advantage over a new player, but really, this is just a casual game, and to be honest, that's there for people who are lazy. You can still do pretty much everything else in the game by grinding, which is exactly what should be there in most pay-to-win games. So here is a trap I'm placing down. Um, fairly basic trap. I'm not going to put that down, actually. But as you can see, these things can be placed. You can place mobs and traps pretty much everywhere you want. Um, obviously, as long as it doesn't coincide inside the bubble of too many other mobs. Like that, for example, would make that pack too overpowered, so it won't allow me to do that. Uh, however, I can place it there if I wish, wish to, which will basically make that pack a little bit harder, but not to the uh, dangerous level. So I'll put one there as well. This will make it a little bit harder to basically traverse my dungeon, because obviously these Cyclops, as I told you, have a knockback, which I gave them. Um, but there's all sorts of cool traps. And of course, you can upgrade these as well. Uh, this is upgraded through uh, the life force crystals and not the gold. So obviously you're going to have to farm this stuff. Um, and see, all workers are busy. So I'm going to use a few blings uh, to actually accelerate that. I got some free when I just bought the game, so there we go. Um, but as you can see, they have quite a significant time. You're waiting 30 to 40 minutes to build something, usually. So obviously the acceleration process is for those who don't want to work, wait that long. However, there are other things to do in the game, which I'll show you soon. So as you can see here on the research lab, I have given this Cyclops a specialization, which is a dash towards them and a stun. That is probably the best one I could have upgraded. And indeed, you can upgrade traps as well. But of course, you need to upgrade the research station as well. And that, to upgrade that, you need a required dungeon heart, a castle heart of a certain level. These two are here are Potion, Brewery, and the Blacksmith. These offer your actual character, the, in, the only two in the actual dungeon or your castle. And as you can see here, you can buy boosts such as experience boosts for an hour and stuff like that. But you can find in most other games like Guild Wars and many other games actually that do the same sort of payment model. Bear in mind this game will be launching free to play. I simply bought access to it early so I could do a video for you guys. As you can see here, blacksmith upgrades uh, would allow me to get some new stuff, so I'm going to accelerate the previous build so I can actually upgrade this as well, because I am lazy. So that's going to take 30 minutes, I'm not going to accelerate that one, but now it's time to show you a few different things. We're going to go to the attack phase, so that was a defend phase uh, where I can just do stuff on my castle. As you can see here, these, every single one of the blue titled ones, apart from the green one at the top, which is indeed um, one of the bosses I need to defeat. Every single one of these that has a number next to it and is blue is a player. And of course you've got some green ones down here if you don't want to defeat players. Uh, the crowns next to them and the amount of crowns they have acquired, which can be from various things. You can actually take one of those crowns by defeating the castle. The number next to it shows you the level of the castle um, and what sort of difficulty you'd expect. However, it is dependent on how good the dungeon builder is himself. So some of these level 5 ones could be absolutely terrible, and that's probably why they've got no crowns. Down here in the battle log, you can see my castle has actually been in four battles so far. Four people have tried to destroy it, and indeed they have all destroyed my castle very easily. And what I can do is I can click revenge here, or I can play replay. Now I'm going to show you the replay feature in a moment. But before that, I'm going to show you how bad I am at assaulting someone else's castle. I'm going to show you how difficult. That one is definitely not one to go for. Um, that many crowns means that it's quite difficult, probably. A lot of people have probably smashed themselves against the rocks of that castle and not got anywhere. So this is a very interesting social game, as you can see. Um, past the first tutorial stage, a lot of these castles, indeed, the majority of the castles that you need to level up, to get to the bosses require you to actually defeat players' castles. So there's the incentive here is to defeat as many players as possible. So I'm in Sintranos's or, or whatever name that is, castle. As you can see, he's put two Cyclops at the start and a load of mobs, so I'm going to have to deal with these. I'm playing an archer. I'm a bit terrible at the moment. I've not really done much attacking, as you can tell. I'm only level 5 or 6. Um, but I should still be able to put up somewhat of a fight 
So as you can see, I'm picking up life force and gold, so that's stuff you get periodically as well, without completing the castle. And a cyclops there is put on the same aggro table as the one on the left, which is exactly the same as what I did in my castle there. But um, I'm plowing through this so far, which is good, for the purposes of video at least. Uh, so he's put a trap where I put a trap, conveniently enough, even though I stood in it like a derp, which is kind of funny. No mobs here yet, so that means there's going to be two more packs probably. There's some Cyclops. Gotta love Cyclops, like the heavy, the most heavy hitting. Um, he hasn't got a, a dash on these though, he hasn't picked a specialization. Or at least I can't tell he has. So these ones are significantly weaker than my own, which is good. Those red orbs are very Diablo-like. They have a random chance to drop off of mobs you have killed, which will heal you instantly for a random value, which is awesome. So let's put a, a tar trap here. Not that that's going to do a great deal. He's got a, a Count Snottingham. Oh dear. Um, this might be a problem. I, uh, I don't know how well I'm going to deal against this. This is quite a tricky pack, actually. Well, I've got rid of the Cyclops. There's a derp there. Oh god, I am terrible at avoiding things. This is not very, very good. I'm also having to try and talk my way through this and focus. We're going to get rid of the smelly archer at least. Oh my god, that hits for a ton. Jesus. Um, well, I have got potions, but they're on CD. Let's get this red orb. Um, fuck. Oh, come on. And he killed me. So, essentially, if I had the ability to do that, um, if I had some more concentration, I would have put it, so I'm going to leave a comment here. Uh, yeah, damn, that's Nottingham. Five stars, that guy deserves it. So there we go, that's attacking phase. That's what you can do if you're good enough. I'm terrible at the moment for whatever reason. You can laugh at that in the comments. Here there's a skills option, so it's very Diablo-esque. Once you hit a certain level, you have access to a new skill, which you can place on your hotbar below. But of course you can pick any of these, so you can choose between Caltrops, Roll, Bear Trap, Freezing Shot, that sort of stuff. A lot like a Demon Hunter in Diablo, and I think that's exactly where they're going. Over here in the inventory section, you can see if I had acquired any decent gear from that, I could equip it. And there isn't really anything I can use there. You get two tabs of standard and you can buy a third with gold. Or indeed, the bling points, which you can buy for real money. I can click this button at the bottom. 100 gold will buy me access to a couple of new dungeons, um, player dungeons. This is the region map, of course. There's the starter area. This is where I am now with the dragon. This is the friend zone. If you have friends and you've added them, you can do stuff together there. There's uh, challenges you can do, and there's also also lots of different regions of different level castles, which you, of course, get placed in as you level your own up. So we're back in my defense stage here, collecting the gold and life gems which have generated over time there, just because I can, and it's the only bloody way I'm getting them at the moment. So let's look at the battle log. We're going to look at a replay now of somebody who attacked my castle, the latest one. I'm going to see how he did it. So this is Sir Halok versus Mioni, i.e. myself. So he, he went in... See, there's a stun. The stun charge is pretty overpowered, actually, isn't it? So you've got three Cyclops on you instantly at the start. He's doing quite well, actually. He doesn't seem to take any damage. He's playing the Knight class, which... I'm not really sure if any are overpowered over others. We've got a, a green sword there as loot. That's cool. And indeed, you have a chance of getting random loot through these places like Diablo as well. Oh, he didn't expect the third Cyclops to come. He's kicking it back though. Quite a good player here, utilizing his abilities quite well. Um, he's already killed off nearly two of my... Oh, he's killed them basically. Absolutely butchering his way through my Cyclops here. Um, of course, this is a great way of structuring how you can change your dungeon to be better, and I love this replay system just for that, because of course you can see if someone's cheating or, or what exactly they did and what you can do to alter that. So he's coming up against this rather varied pack here. He could have dodged a lot of that, but he's so powerful he doesn't need to. This last pack here is not really going to give him much of a challenge. Two Cyclops. And then again, we do have the tentacle things, which do quite a lot of damage. Oh, that's the lowest HP I've seen this guy. He's used his 
I'm not even sure if he's using potions. It's quite amazing. There's still a Cyclops up, and he's... Oh, that heal off the random mob there saved his ass. If it wasn't for that, he would have been in serious trouble. And indeed, he's going to take it easy. But that wasn't... You know, that wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. But there are a few things that I could do to change this to make it a lot better. And indeed, that's the best way of, of gaining insight of how these people do it. So as you can see, he hits the door at the end. He goes into my throne room and steals all of the loot, which is fine. He deserves it. He definitely came across somebody who was a noob, and that was me. So as you can see, you can see replays of all different people who have done it. But uh, really, you only need to get a grasp of the latest one once you've made changes. So what I can do now is I can go in here. I can press the button to go and try it myself, um, which I don't really want to do. That was accidental, but just showing you that you can go in there yourself and challenge your own dungeon, um, which is another way of testing. So I can put uh, monsters in a box here, just box them up, get rid of them, um, which is the option, really. So I just go, right, you're coming with me put you in a box and you can make all sorts of different changes to your castle now I'm gonna have to change quite a lot here to be perfectly honest and um, to make this worthwhile so if you feel like challenging me feel free to add me or indeed yeah add me as a friend um, through this game if you do have it my name is Mioni obviously m-e-o-n-i uh, come and challenge my castle I, I dare you and I will re retaliate in the next video and indeed in the next video I will be trying to take on that guy who defeated me so easily and see if his castle is as good as mine but anyway that's a look at a my the mighty quest for epic loot by myself hopefully you've enjoyed this video and you like this idea for a few videos of of substantial looks at this sort of game I do enjoy it it's quite a social experience and certainly is quite a nice game but you can have outside of many other games if you play Warcraft or other games you're probably looking for something just like this to fill the time and it is certainly one of those sort of games anyway my name has been Mioni thank you very much for watching my video and I'll see you next time